it is that time of month again where uh I talk about all the books I plan to read and then uh look at how much I read this month and uh cry yes I've read seven books this month we don't we don't need to talk about it listen as long as I finish the vlog in the middle of I'll at least reach double digits which is fun for me because the current plan uh for August is 16 books and the first one we have to get out of the way because it's it's right here right here um technically the brand says in readathon uh i gotta read war breaker in august but um in order to do that i have to finish miss born era 2 uh which are these two bad boys this one's pretty much a chunker the last one is and then for this one's book i have to read atlantris and then i can read war breaker so it's like gonna be a goal thing to try to catch up more than actually read war breaker um i'm just gonna i'm just gonna try to get through at least Born era 2 and then i try to get through these i don't know i'm very behind and we don't need to talk about it we're just we're just gonna accept this as the way life is um and that's almost it for physical books we don't need to talk about that but as per usual i have my ipad here with the brightness like all the way up oh my god <laughs> um uh, to talk about all the books I plan to read, all 16 of them, uh, if I only read one's Anderson. Maybe two, if I don't read What Moves the Dead by T. Kingfisher, that one is a book club pick for one of the, like, ten bajillion book clubs of him. And I wrote it down as one that I maybe want to read because it is technically already on my Goodreads TBR, and so when books for book clubs are already on my tbr i tried to actually read them for the book club and then uh also it's like under 200 pages so technically i could do it um so i'm gonna try but i'm not saying anything uh the one that i am going to read which i think this one's pretty long is feed by mira grant uh, i think it's a zombie one it is for chloe's crime scene book club and it looks interesting i this one was not already on my tbr but i have read a few mirror grant slash sean mcguire books and i do like her writing and i do want to try uh zombie fiction because i've never read a zombie book i'm pretty sure maybe once as a kid if i remember that book properly but uh yeah that that is just something i wanted to try out uh and take my just like let's see if i actually like that type of literature um and then if we go into all the books i want to read for videos uh we got grown by tiffany d jackson uh which i was scrolling through tagged uh the thriller tag on storygraph and apparently grown is considered a thriller which is intriguing i think i already got that one from the high school library already as an audiobook um there's the yellow paper wallpaper by charlotte perkins gilman i think this one text technically counts as a classic it's like 70 pages um for those who don't know i have this thing where i tried to read 12 classics a year and i'm behind so i guess i'm planning to read two uh both of them happen to be uh already planned for vlogs before i even got behind so it's fine uh, so I'll be able to catch up with that one and The Taming of the Shrew by William Shakespeare. Uh, Shakespeare books I can read technically usually in one day. So I think I already got my copy of that too from the library. Um, Twice Shy by Sarah Hogle. I've heard some mixed things about but like I just need a good contemporary romance my dude. And the only contemporary romance that I've read that had a yellow cover I didn't like. No, wait, that's a lie. Beach Read also has a yellow cover. So I've hated one and really loved the other one. So, like, why not try out another one and see if yellow is my color? And then Recursion by Blake Crouch. Uh, one, his most recent book just came out. I think it's called, like, Upgrade or something. It's the blue one. Um, just came out. And I've been wanting to test out his books for a while now see if i like them especially since i want to try to get into like the sci-fi realm and uh yeah so it has happened to just that one just happened to fit for this video and i was like why not 
Um, I'm gonna read Our Violent Ends by Chloe. Well, is that how you pronounce her last name? I can't speak words. Um, I have read Our Violent Delights. I liked it. It was fine. Uh, I already have the audiobook of that one. So, like, as soon as the month turns over, I have a bunch of audiobooks to listen to. Um, Ruin and Rising by Le Lee Barker Go. Lee Barker Go. Um, basically, I just gotta finish that goddamn series. It's been over a year since I've started Shadow of Bone, and I need to finish. And then Accurate to Eve Brown by Tyler Hibbert. Hibbert. Listen, we can talk about it all day long. I can't pronounce words. It's it's fine. We don't we don't need to have a conversation. Um, I think I read the first two books in the Brown Sisters trilogy. Four stars. I think I read both of them four stars. And I really uh, like them both. I related to both the characters, main characters in both of them. Um, Danny Brown, uh, we're both by. Um, and then Chloe, that's the first one, right? Uh, with chronic pain and illness type thing. Uh, related to her that way. So that was fun. Um, Eve Brown is the one that I feel like I'm going to be the one, like, she's going to be the one I least relate to. But I'm excited to read it. Uh, I do have the library copy on hold, so we'll see if it comes in time. Originally, I was going to read Tessa Dares instead of Actor A.G. Brown, but then I learned that the last book in the Spindle Cove series was also the last book in the Castles Ever After series, and I was like, I might as well just read the whole entire Castles Ever After series before I read that book and finish off the two universes with that one book. So that's no longer happening this month. It's very sad. Uh, and then we have the other physical book. Uh, for this month, which is Frostbite by Rochelle Mead, um, second book in Vampire Academy. I am currently rereading Vampire Academy. This is short. I just looked up the amount of pages, like, looked in here, and it's, like, 330 pages. Ignore the hiccups wanting to come in. Um, it's, like, she's tiny. I could read this in one sitting, probably, like, which is great, because she'd be for a weekend reading vlog. If you don't know, I'm going to do this thing where I finally finished the series by reading uh, one of these a weekend maybe twice a month once or twice a month depending on other vlogs and whatnot so this is the one that I for sure I'm gonna do this month and try to do book three as well we'll see um but that's all the vlog books and then we got uh all the just random extra books <laughs> that I want to do uh which include Gallant by the Schwab I don't think I actually got the copy from my library, but like, even if I have to put on hold, the waitlist is very, very short. Um, and Dion told me to read it, so I'm excited. Uh, I've read one of the Yishua before, which was a standalone. It was The Invisible Life of Eddie Lou, and I loved it, so I'm excited for that. Uh, I'm gonna try. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time, but I'm gonna try for the Eoski by DM Larry. Is that how you pronounce her last name? I don't know how to pronounce things, fam. Um, but I just bought it, the ebook of it, for like three dollars. Uh, and I'm very excited. Okay, I just want to read it, but I think it's like kind of long. It's like four hundred pages. So we're gonna try, but I don't know if it's gonna happen now because I may have to wait. Uh, and then the Wicker King, as well as the companion novella. There's like, I think it's from the other main character's point of view. The novella is um but the wicker king by k ankrum uh just for you h like i'm officially planning it like i'm saying it right here i'm gonna read it in august just for you just for you my child um but yeah that's my august tbr my very low energy august tbr couldn't tell by this not even reaching 10 minutes yet um this is what happens when I have migraine, but also I don't want to sit still, and so this is me being productive. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for August. Those are the books I'm going to read. Hopefully I'll get through all of them. But like, if July has anything to say, we're not so sure about that. <laughs> we're not so sure. Uh, but you know, that's fine. Um, I don't really have any links below of like videos i can't think of any i mean i guess no but it's not 
Uh, so congratulations, it's the first video in like a long time where I don't have to link any videos below. The only thing that's going to be linked below is my Goodreads, my Storygraph, my Instagram. Um, if you want to know my updates throughout me reading, uh, I'd say Goodreads and or Storygraph. But if you want to know the ratings of books for vlogs before I upload the vlog, I do upload them on my Instagram stories. So check me out there. Also, I actually occasionally post reviews on both Goodreads and Instagram. I've done a few of backlog ones from June this month. So like if that's uh, something you're interested in, check that out. They're all linked below as per usual for me. Um, and that's it. That's, that's the whole video. Thank you.